A longtime Reno casino has officially been rebranded. Cola 8 News Now's Ben Deet shows us what's going into it and the bold claim being made by its owner. When driving into Reno, it's one of the first buildings you see. And now it'll be known as something else. We wanted to make sure we had enough of the building complete so when people came in, they would actually be able to see the difference. As of Tuesday, what was the Sands Regency is officially the J Resort, with the J being for Jacobs Entertainment, who has owned it for the past six years. When people walk in, they're not going to believe that this was once the Sands, now the J Resort. VP of Nevada Operations Jonathan Bulware says the Sands Regency was a one or two star resort when they bought it. And they're going to spend $300 million transforming it into a four star tourist attraction. The first phase of the makeover will be done in June, and it includes close to 500 remodeled rooms, a new steakhouse, a three-meal restaurant, and this new front desk. But that is just phase one. We're going to keep building. I think we've grown it's up to 2,000 rooms. Uh, we've got a lot of amenities coming, many entertainment venues. Some of these we're going to discuss with City Council this June. Jacobs Entertainment has bought up a lot of the land on 4th Street in downtown Reno, and Chairman Jeff Jacobs is making a bold claim about what his company will do to the area. I think Virginia is not quite the destination that it used to be, and I think 4th Street, with what we're doing, will become the new Virginia. It's just one of a number of projects for Jacobs Entertainment in the downtown area, another being last year's announcement of their construction of a new apartment complex that will be built on the site of the old townhouse motor lodge. Some have criticized the company's expansion, saying they are kicking people out of their homes and reducing the amount of affordable housing. Bulware wanted to take the opportunity to clear that up. The misinformation is that we displace people and they were put them out on the street, and, and nothing could be further from the truth. The people that lived in the motels were some of the most horrific living conditions where infants and seniors were, were subject to breathe them in black mold. Crime was at an all-time high, and to take those people and relocate them into apartments where they can feel safe and they have kitchens and and they're treated fairly uh, just gives us just warms our heart we would like for that story to be reported because that's what happened nobody was put on the street when we went through that process and that's what makes us feel good about um, what we did for our community and as you can see here in the west parking lot the first j has already been added to the side of the building as the renovations continue in downtown reno ben Deach, colloate news now